Hey there, FanBite crew! It's Jillian, and we're gonna be doing something a little bit different today. Um, we're playing Lego The Hobbit, and I figure that many of you have already played this, uh, you know about this game already, or you know the story. So we are going to jump right in. Um, I'm gonna be discussing something very close to my heart that is pretty much... It has to do with this, but it's um, in a lot of different games as well. Uh, I'm going to be talking about head cannons and how important it is um, when you feel close to a narrative or you feel close to a character and you interpret them the way that you would like to see them uh, represented. And this usually happens when, for example, um, I'm going to be discussing how there aren't a lot of queer characters. Mm -hmm in games and I see Bilbo as a queer woman and I actually see all of the dwarves as women um, and we're gonna kinda dig into that with this game because Bilbo was the first character that I ever read where I felt myself falling in love with books, falling in love with the process of reading. So whenever I kind of revisit the Tolkien world, I always like to remember how it felt when I was a teeny little Jillian. And I felt a lot, um, I felt a lot like Bilbo. I felt like um, I was too scared to go on an adventure, but ooh, whoa. We're gonna be talking a little bit about why this story is so close to me and why it's important to respect the fact that some people have um, headcanons for certain characters that maybe you haven't thought about before and maybe you should. Maybe you should think about how we really don't see a lot of queer women in games and it would be really cool if all of these characters were women on a journey together. So. We are meeting up with Queen Thorin, to be Queen of the Mountain, and all of the wonderful ladies, or possibly non-binary folk. Oh, yeah. All right, you're waving at me. Um, yeah, what am I... Oh, I'm sorry, Bilbo. Uh... Oh, there we go, okay. See, it's harder when Paige isn't playing with me because um, I let her do the technical stuff while I run around and get coins. <laughs> I miss you, Paige! She's on vacation. Everybody say hi to Paige! Yeah, so um, I think it's really cool when people take a story that's very close to them and then they... Um, Make it their own. I think that's very important, and I think one of our writers is going to be discussing that soon. I'll probably take a stab at it in terms of Tolkien, because I'm a massive Tolkien nerd. I was Bilbo for Halloween last year. And you know, I think it's really um, it's important if anybody is a, a Dwarf Lore fan, I think that it's really cool that, you know, other races kind of lop them all together and have difficulty like figuring out which gender they're presenting because who gives a flying you know what I mean like who cares be yourself do what you want lady dwarves can have beards it's whatever oh it's so pretty okay so let's go with everybody's lady or non-binary hello yeah she signed it what up Welcome, Master Baggins, to the company. I think you can all tell what I ship. And I'm sure the Lego people ship them as well. So broody! Dwarf Queen! Help yourself. This game is so endearing. Who feels like immediately relaxed when they revisit Tolkien? Wait, wait, stop. I know I do. It brings back so much. It's so cute! Oh, all right. Yeah. I love quests that have to do with animals. Always pamper the animals. Hmm. Hey, what's up? Oh, look at that. You just appeared. See, everybody went through without Nori. Nori, by the way, has the most impressive beard going on right now. Yeah, 
there are a lot of Nori um, Dwalin shippers, which I appreciate. Good job. Excuse me. Yeah. They remind me of uh, Aveline and Isabella. More ladies. Yay, we can feed them now! It's the best quest of the whole game! Sweet! What was that? Gooks. These are my favorite, these cutscenes. These are adorable. You think that's funny? You think a night raid by all Love my dwarf queen. Love her! You know nothing of the world. Don't mind him, Laddie. Thorin has more cause than Fallen is also your to hate orcs. After the dragon took the lonely mountain, King Thror tried to reclaim the ancient dwarf kingdom of Moria. But our enemy had got there first. Yeah, this is um this is not gonna be my Moria favorite. Had been taken. Of you know, I used to like being a tank. I'll say that. I used to enjoy uh, creating women in games just so I could tank and surprise everyone, but... <sighs> when I'm forced into being a tank, I don't like it! See, I can't see. I'm probably killing my friends. I don't, I don't like that. Never ask me to be a tank. Storyline. La, 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 la. <sighs> Can you imagine watching that? <laughs> oh, I laugh, but it's because her hair is just so majestic. Hair goals. Hashtag. We'll be nothing but an oaken branch as a shield. <sighs> yeah, this is gonna end well. What if I didn't want to fight? Oh! I didn't get a choice! Why can't we just work it out? Yeah, it's gotta be hard. You see your grandmother go down in front of you. And you just want the coins, but apparently you have to fight this person. I'm not so good at these- Oh, Yeah, I'm not so good at the smashing. But... <sighs> yeah, it's alright. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Calm down. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I got the B. Got it. She, like, hops around. Super excited. Yeah, I think it would be more interesting if Thorin were the one, was uh, in fact a woman, anything other than a man, or if um, Thorin's sister led the charge with all of this. I think that'd be very interesting. I think it was a huge, hugely missed opportunity that the sister wasn't involved in anything. Really. But, you know, that's what fanfiction's for! Yeah. <gasps> hey, 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 okay. Uh, X, it's X. And then it is A! 
You know, it helps if you say it out loud, or it helps me at least. Oh, what was that for? Goodness. That one's so rude. Alright, so how do we get... Oh! Cutscene. Okay, good. Woo! Alright, we're done. And the queen triumphs! Well, she's a princess right now. Princess Thorn. Yeah, so much more interesting. Thorn is a lady. Yeah, bye! Bye! Azog had been defeated, and Aww, I thought to myself, so there is one. Oh, it's so cute. I could call king. You mean queen. It's alright, everybody gets it wrong. Wouldn't it be cool if they had like a gender neutral term? And the pale orc. Other than what like to ruler. Him? He died of his wounds. Your worship! Him. Your grace! <laughs> Wait! Is that a sippy cup? Oh my gosh. Yeah! Is that a 7 Eleven Slurpee? I think it was. Oh, I want one of those right now. Is that a phone? Oh my god. This is good content. Quality content! I'd be interested to hear. Um, yeah, I know, I didn't get enough points. I'd be interested to hear if anyone else has personal headcanons for certain characters, and not necessarily for games. Um, I think this sort of works anywhere that fandom thrives, which is really beautiful. Um, yeah, if you have... If you personally uh, interpret a character a certain way that isn't necessarily confirmed by canon, I think that's the important thing to note there, because... Um, you don't have to have something confirmed by canon for it to mean something to you. And I want to... I really want to stress that because if you feel like a character is a certain way or whatever the case may be, that's valid. And I think that that's just as interesting to me as like a critical analysis of, you know, of something fictional. So, I think that you're just as, you know, wonderfully intelligent and clever and skillful as anyone else that, you know, interprets different things a different way. And if anyone tells you differently, um, <laughs> yeah, laugh in their face, first of all, because that's really sad for them, uh, that they have no headcanons. Can you imagine a world without headcanons? Imagine people who just see things for the way that it's presented and they don't think about it at all. Like, that must be a really easy life. So, I feel bad for people like that. Could you spare a moment? That's, um, not fun. What? What do, what do I have to do here? I have to build up? No, I don't want to build anything. No! I have to build it! Oh! We just went through that lovely little, like, feel-good speech, and now we have to build a bridge! What do you want, sir? Or madam, or otherwise? I'm pushing you in. I'm... Oh, no. That's what I get. Okay. What's up? If you were planning on crossing into Troll Shores, I'm afraid I have to disappoint That hairstyle, you. though. I came out to fix the bridge, but I threw my back out as soon as I lifted the first... Swept bridge. fringe. The bad. teenage fringe! If I you're see in a desperate it. Hurry, I know what you're trying to pull you off. attempt to build it yourself. Alright, enough. Yeah, I got it. Um, books? Oh. For a minute I was like... We gonna... Got these thing of bobs, these wooden planks. 57. You know my priorities when I have that many. Alright, I'm gonna need to focus here, so give me a second. La 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 la! This is actually, this is hard for me. It should be, but it is. Um. Yeah. This looks like so much fun. I would love to, to 
together, like up like this. But I wouldn't want. I hate directions. I hate directions. What? That's the same plank. Get out. Yeah. Yeah, no. I used to play with Legos when I was little, but I hated when I was given like specific things to put together. I just wanted to, you know, wing it. Um, I'm still like that today. So, uh, would you stop? It's really hard to do this on the Xbox. I'm gonna say that right now. Because it slides and... Whatever. No one cares! I just want to talk about the head cannons. Some bridge, Wallen. You made that look Is that like dancing over there? Play. Oh, no, I feel yeah. Even more She's showing off her. Whoa! What she dropped to the ground. All right, Wallen. Into troll shores. Here, I was Are they still the talking? Dance. Stop it. But since you did all the work, I think it's only fair. Why can't I get out of it? This is a nightmare. All right. Oh, I got a weird piece. No! No! Oh, wait. Yes? The company took no? shelter for the night in the deserted okay, cool. ruins of a farm. Why? Oh, it's a troll the part. Okay, so, um, just as an FYI, we're going to be doing, um, for the night. a. You, do you remember the old. Place? classic um hobbit game and i personally played it on playstation but i don't know if it was available on other platforms um it's quite old i think it's from the 90s and it is uh <laughs> it's an experience i'm gonna be playing it again for you um it'll be a fun favorite friday of some kind um and then we'll kind of bring the discussion about head cannons over there i'd like to at least if um this is something that interests interests everyone is he coming back? Um, yeah. Lady Bilba. Which, by the way, for anyone who doesn't know, um, Bilbo's mother, Belladonna Baggins, actually went on an adventure with Gandalf before all this happened, so for any of the naysayers about Bilbo being a woman, uh, I'm sorry, Bilbo's mother was hardcore and kicked some major butt. I'm sure it was all different kinds of butts. Elf butt, orc butt, like troll butt, all the butts. So don't tell me that it's my lovely precious Bilbo cinnamon roll. Can't be a lady because she is. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, we'll be playing the old uh, Rankin Bass worthy game. PlayStation soon. And I hope you all enjoy it because it's uh, it's a trip. It's uh, interesting and definitely serves our conversation here. You know, we could jump into Lord of the Rings as well, like a Lord of the Rings. I have a few other uh, Lord of the Rings games that I don't necessarily enjoy. What's happening here? Oh, hold on. Yeah. Okay. yeah. There we go. I guess the orc, not the orc, the troll didn't see that. The, the troll! We're all done. A mine! A mine! Thank you, Tolkien, for giving me so many opportunities to create gay and queer characters. Thank you! Alright, um. What's hap- oh. Who has a- does anyone have a fishing rod? You do. Oh, thank you, honey. My lovely cinnamon roll has a fishing rod. Yeah. Oh, this is one of those- ugh. I hate these, um... These button things. It's like- okay, so we got fishies. Oh, oh goodness. Okay. I almost walked through it. B. Crab. Oh, we're seasoning the dish? That was kind of you, Bilbo. That was sweet. I think we all appreciate your little culinary uh, foray there. 
Oh yeah, let's smash these things up. They'll never hear. Is that gold? Yeah. Did anyone play? Um, wasn't there like a Lego Minecraft game that came out? I saw Anna play it for Team Human, but I saw it and was like, "There's no way that I could play that because I would be just collecting coins the entire time." I don't know about anybody else, but in Lego games, I only want to collect coins, so I feel like that wouldn't be uh, a game for me. <laughs> I would never build anything, I'd just be collecting coins. And making weird characters. You know how I roll. Alright, so we're going all the way over there now. These are the people here. Um, we got Ori right now. Behind me is Killy and Feely. Um, and then Bilbo. These are probably my four faves from the movies. Because in the books, they were all kind of one note, which is fine because it's actually a children's book, so I don't necessarily think uh, it needed anything too complicated, but... Wow, alright. Um, but yeah, I did like how the movies kind of fleshed each character out and gave them, um, gave them at least a little bit of a Pippin and Mary charm. With uh, Keely and Feely. What a. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Oh, he digs. She digs. Oh, do we have to throw it over there? <laughs> For a minute, I was like, I didn't have to throw it over there! Shoot. Yeah, you know what other game would be really good for headcanons? Harry Potter. Uh, I see a lot of that, especially now with the new um, movie on the horizon, which I am not thrilled about in any way. Do not get me started on that. Um, but yeah, I think Harry Potter also lends itself to amazing headcanons that make the narrative better. Better. Yeah, I didn't, uh, I was nowhere near aiming that correctly. All right. Horses, free them! I'd sing the last unicorn, but I only know the first, like, two lines, so. Bill was so cute. Oh no! Look at that devious face! She's not playing right now. She's not messing around. She's so cute! And determined! <laughs> Oh goodness. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is so funny though. I remember reading this when I was little and being terrified. This is scary stuff. Can we cook him? We can try. Drop him! You won't! I said. Drop him. Determined little princess. Determined little group of ladies. Oh, wait, who am I? I can't move. Oh gosh. Help. Help. Oh, I'm I'm still killing it. Oh, they just not oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. Uh... Okay, so we need to focus on this one. Oh, maybe if I, if I, okay, wait. Come here. Okay. No, that didn't work. Oh, we both went down for that one. Okay, all right. Uh... Yeah. 
Yeah, my instinct should be build. Building a trebuchet. You know, it's funny because a lot of the time I'll like see this and then be like, what did I just build? Oh! Who was in there? Who did we just launch? Yeah, maybe next time we should see who we're launching at the giant troll. I don't know, maybe. Dwarves are really hardy. Oh no! No! Yeah, that's um... See, that's, that's what's nice about the dwarves, that they band together and they kind of have their system. It's really cute. Please don't throw that at me. Oh! Why? I, I guess we have to build now. No, we don't have to build. Okay. Right in my face. Whoa! Everyone get out of the way. Yeah, I see it. Thank you, Anthony. Lay down your arms, or we'll whip his off. Oh no! Bilbo. Not little Bilbo! No! This makes me like a kid again, playing this. I love this game. <laughs> this is not good. Don't bother Only some of us made it out alive. Um, who has that thingy? Yeah, this can be relaxing or it can be very stressful. Um, I personally only have any interest in playing the Lego games that I uh, recognize the canon. I think Paige and I tried to play. Um, ooh, tried to play. Um, Batman and the Avengers, and it was okay, but if you're not really a fan of either of those, if you know, it's kind of meh. We also tried playing the Lego movie, but I actually, I don't like the Lego movie for several reasons, so. Oh, I thought that glitched for a minute. Ooh, that was bad. We didn't save. FYI. Alright, um, that thing. Uh, that thing. The thingamabob. The thing with the thing. Let's see. Oh, that one. I feel more stressed out because you're watching me do this and I have to get it right. Right. I do not care. Some hype group gets it. I don't know what this is. Bizarre is what it is. Science project. Uh, what is that? All right. Okay. Maybe you can give me a name for what you just built. Oh, I'm freaking out of the way. Who's that? Oh, hey. Wait, how do I get out? Yay, finally, Gandalf! Who's that? No idea. She's just chilling up there. It's telling me to. Oh! There we go. Thanks so much! So pretty. Whoa! Yeah, so that's our uh, that's our initial playthrough of the Lego Hobbit um, game. Yep, and uh, if you'd like to play or see us play more of it, or if you want to hear me ramble about head cannons and uh, queer characters, I most certainly will. So thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope to see you next time. See you later, Fem Hype Crew.